talking about the stock market, talking about how well the stock market is doing. The stock market has regained its footing, certainly. Has it regained its faith? Tom Loricella, Mr. Loricella. Thanks. We try to get Tom on the show all the time, but he's <laughs> he's always busy. He's always too busy to come on our show. Made it today. Apparently you had nothing to do today, right? <laughs> Yeah, you know, slow down. All right, so you can see your story right there. Let's talk about this one because it has been a really interesting time in the stock market lately. Yeah, it really has. Um, and what we decided to do is actually really sort of take a look back over the past year. Um, we had this uh, very unfortunate anniversary uh, this time a year ago. We were going through the the, the horrific debacle in Washington over right. the debt ceiling, culminating in the, the downgrade of the U.S. credit rating. Um, you know, what's, what's interesting in that is that in a lot of ways, the most dire forecast did not pan out. We didn't have a flight from U.S. Treasuries. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, as Treasuries a, are lower, right? Much lower. Yields. Um, and, um, you know, stocks are higher. I mean, yeah. it, it feels, feels terrible oh, out are there. Are stocks higher? They're higher than they were, they were a year ago? A year ago. Oh. It, 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 you'd think, um, you know, it, you'd think we were down 20%, but yeah. we're actually up. Um, and but but what's what is really interesting though when you talk to investors though is that there's so much skepticism and it's not just it's 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 not just sort of stuff in Europe it's it's there there was a loss of faith um, among investors in policymakers in the U.S. to in the U.S. in particular to do what is needed and that is really that 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 is overhanging I think really a lot of issues. Uh, and that it's very interesting because you're talking about that and we just pulled up a chart of the Dow. That's the Dow from a year ago. That's a one-year chart of the Dow. You can see how it's gone up. Uh, why? I mean, very simply, why? You have really good sources. You have better sources than I do. I'm always impressed with people I hear you on the phone with. Uh, if people are pessimistic, if people have lost their faith, they don't trust the markets, why are they buying stocks? Well, I think or who's buying stocks? Well, I mean, I, I think you have to sort of look at um, what kind of stocks people are buying. Um, you know, I, I, investors continue to gravitate towards more defensive stocks, mm -hmm. um, and you, you know, dividend payers, dividend that kind payers. Of thing. Um, you know, you, you can argue with the um, with with the earnings forecasts and look at valuations, but valuations. They're not awful, mm -hmm. and and I think when people look around the world, if they have to put money to work for the long term, not not the next six months, a year. If you're looking out, you know, five, ten years, um, you're going to look around and say, you know what, U.S. equities, not so bad. It may be awful for the next six months. I may be able to buy them much cheaper at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, um, you know, I, I'm I'm not just going to keep selling and selling equities, and it, you know, we sort of have this sort of floating up. Um, there's definitely been, you know, very little participation, though. Right. That's a big point. Now, where do we go from here? That, I, that, the, the, you are a Wall Street uh, Journal yes. markets reporter. I, you are going to, you can <laughs> answer that question. Well, I, I, I mean, clearly, the, you know, the, we have lots, of, lots going on this week. But yeah. I think if you look over the next, the next six months, um, there's a lot of skepticism that central banks can do much except sort of paper over mm -hmm. the problems. Um, and, and a lot of investors really just don't see the need to do anything major until we get through the end of the year. Yeah. So the result is continued choppy, up and down, risk on, risk off, at least through the end of the year. You know, it, maybe, maybe the election will give us some clarity. Maybe we'll have a better sense of, of what happens once we get to the fiscal cliff. You know, maybe once we get into 2013, um, you know, that, that, that there'll be some sense of, um, okay, now we sort of know what the course is. It might still be yeah. slow growth, but at least people might, maybe they'll be a little bit more confident about their longer term positioning.